What will happen when Prince William becomes king? Prince William is the former Duke of Cambridge and the current Prince of Wales. He's also the current monarch in waiting to take the throne. He was born in 1982 and is currently 40 years old. He became the heir to the throne after the death of his grandmother, Queen Elizabeth II, last year. Prince William is married to Kate Middleton and they have three children. In this video, we tell you what will happen once Prince William becomes king. Even though it's expected that he'll eventually take the throne, many things will change for him and for the monarchy. Here are 20 things that will happen when he becomes king. Number 1. Prince William becomes the head of state. While it's true that the UK has an elected government, the King or Queen of England is still regarded as the head of state. This means that while the sovereign is head of state, the ability to make and pass legislation resides with an elected parliament. So the sovereign is not directly involved in making laws and governing the people. However, as head of state, the monarch undertakes constitutional and representational duties, which have developed over 1,000 years of history. The monarch also has a less formal role as head of nation, where the sovereign acts as a focus for national identity, unity, and pride, gives a sense of stability and continuity, officially recognizes success and excellence, and supports the ideal of voluntary service. If Prince William becomes the king, he would automatically become the head of state vested with executive privileges, and he also would act as the ceremonial head of the United Kingdom. Number 2. Prince William will have greater involvement in the government. As mentioned earlier, in a monarchy, a king or queen is the head of state. The British monarchy is known as a constitutional monarchy, which means the ability to make and pass legislation resides with the elected parliament. Although the sovereign does not have a political or executive role, they continue to play an important role in the nation's life. Prince William's ascension to the throne would see him greatly involved with governmental dealings, including opening and dissolving parliament and approving bills before they become laws. Number 3. Prince William will have the responsibility of assenting to every bill. When Prince William takes the throne, one of the responsibilities he'll take on is to provide royal assent, which is the method by which a monarch formally approves an act of the legislature. The monarch also has the right to refuse royal assent, which hasn't happened since 1707. Royal assent is regarded today as more of a formality. Number 4. Prince William must now be politically neutral. As you can imagine, being the king or queen of England comes with a load of responsibilities and quite a few constraints. The British royal family is a constitutional monarchy, which must remain politically neutral. We knew nothing of Queen Elizabeth II's views on most matters, not even which prime minister she liked best. We know something about King Charles III's views on the environment, but that's not necessarily an indication of which party he would support. When Prince William becomes king, he'll be expected to maintain his neutrality as well. Number 5. The Oath of Allegiance Changes The Oath of Allegiance currently sees oath-takers pledge their allegiance to King Charles III. It's an oath whereby a subject or citizen acknowledges a duty of allegiance and swears loyalty to a monarch or a country. So every member of British society holding public office, police officers, the military, etc. takes the oath. Not only was the Oath of Allegiance changed when the Queen passed away last year, but the British national anthem also had to be updated. Instead of God Save the Queen, it's now God Save the King. When Prince William ascends to the throne, he'll be the king to whom Brits pledge allegiance. Number 6. Prince William's image will replace Queen Elizabeth and King Charles' images on national symbols. Queen Elizabeth II had a record-breaking reign, so unpicking her name, image, and iconography from the fabric of national life in the UK and across the Commonwealth will take quite a long time, maybe even longer than King Charles' reign. Here are a few of the things that will need to be changed when Prince William takes the throne. Flags Currently, flags that fly outside police stations to the standard used on a naval ship when a general's on board are emblazoned with EIIR, which will need to be replaced. Banknotes and coins. 
There are 4.5 billion sterling banknotes in circulation with the Queen's face on them, worth a combined 80 billion pounds. Replacing them will likely take at least two years. And that's not including the money featuring her image in Commonwealth countries like Canada and New Zealand. Stamps King Charles' image will be replaced on all stamps with Prince William's face when he ascends to the throne. Number 7. Prince William becomes the head of Commonwealth and the Commonwealth of Nations. The Commonwealth is a group of 56 countries that have an estimated population of 2.4 billion people. As of 2022, there are also 50 nations called the Commonwealth Realms, which are sovereign states in the Commonwealth of Nations, whose monarch and head of state is shared among the other realms. When Prince William becomes king, he'll take over as monarch of each Commonwealth realm and will simultaneously become head of the Commonwealth. Number 8. Prince William will become the King of Australia According to the Constitution of Australia, the current monarch of England automatically becomes the monarch of Australia. This shouldn't be a surprise since Australia was a former colony of Britain and is currently part of the Commonwealth of Nations, led by the United Kingdom. As the current King of Australia, King Charles currently rules by proxy and thus is not directly involved in the administrative and governmental affairs of the country. According to the Constitution of Australia, the major role of the king is to appoint the Governor-General and the governors of the various regions of the country. It's through these individuals he would then exert his influence over Australia. Number 9. Kate Middleton becomes Queen Consort The ascension of Prince William as king would mean that his wife will no longer be the Duchess of Cambridge and will take on the title of Queen Consort. Queen Consort is the official traditional title given to the wife of the king. This title does not have the same weight as Queen Elizabeth's title of Queen Regent. It's noteworthy that the husband of the Queen does not retain any title. This is why the late Prince Philip was not called King Consort. Since King Charles took the throne, the current Queen Consort is Camilla. Number 10. Kate Middleton may access jewels from the crown. This one's more of a perk for Princess Catherine when she becomes Queen Consort she would have access to the crown jewels. When Queen Elizabeth II passed away, they passed directly to King Charles III. When Prince William takes the throne, Princess Catherine, who will be Queen Consort, will have the jewels at her disposal. Number 11. Relocation to Buckingham Palace Buckingham Palace has always been the official residence of the king or queen since the reign of Queen Victoria in the 19th century. This would mean that Prince William, Princess Catherine, and their three children will be vacating their current residence in Windsor and moving to Buckingham Palace. Number 12. A possibility of a new name or title. Prince William can change his name when he becomes king. Traditionally, once a new king or queen ascends to the throne, the sovereign is at liberty to change his or her name to reflect a change of status. This isn't mandatory, as Queen Elizabeth II opted not to change her name. However, her father decided to change his name when he ascended to the throne, from Albert to King George VI. Since the late Queen Elizabeth nor King Charles opted for a name change, it won't really be a surprise if Prince William follows suit. Number 13. Prince William will never have to bow to anyone ever again. Once Prince William becomes the king, his status will change forever. He'll be the most senior person in the British monarchy. According to royal family rules, all members of the royal family must bow or curtsy to the person most senior than them, aka the throne waiting list. That means that currently Prince William only bows to his father, King Charles III, the current King of England. Number 14. Prince William would no longer be the Prince of Wales. The ascension of Prince William would create a ripple effect that sees Prince William relinquish his current title of Prince of Wales. Before Queen Elizabeth II's death, he was the Duke of Cambridge, but took the title of Prince of Wales on the 9th of September from his father and current King of England, Charles III. The title of Prince of Wales is the traditional title reserved for the monarch in waiting. So when William ascends to the throne, his son Prince George will become the Prince of Wales. 
Number 15. Prince George Becomes the Prince of Wales The ascension of Prince William to the throne will consequently pave the way for Prince George to become the Prince of Wales. This is because the ascension of Prince William would make Prince George the monarch-in-waiting, and as earlier pointed out, the Prince of Wales is traditionally the title reserved for the monarch-in-waiting. He's currently nine years old, and it may seem as though it's a huge responsibility for such a young boy to take on. Prince Charles was only presented the title when he was 20, despite becoming heir apparent when he was just three years old. It was decided that he needed to get to know Wales, its people, culture, and most importantly, its language. Number 16. The ascension of Prince William would make Prince George the heir to the throne. The British royal line of succession is well-defined, and it changes after a new monarch's been crowned. That said, the ascension of Prince William would change the line of succession of the royal family by bringing Prince George one step closer to the throne. He'll become the monarch-in-waiting. Prince George is the first son of Prince William and Kate Middleton and was born in the year 2013. Number 17. Prince William would automatically become the supreme governor of the Church of England. When Prince William becomes King of England, he'll take on many new titles and responsibilities. Among those is the title of Supreme Governor of the Church of England, traditionally a title reserved for the ruling monarch. The king appoints archbishops, bishops, and deans of cathedrals on the advice of the prime minister. When Prince William becomes king, he'll be officially awarded the title of Defender of the Faith and Supreme Governor of the Church of England. Number 18. Prince William will be woken up by bagpipes. The British royal family is rooted in tradition. There are the more well-known traditions, and then there are the obscure ones. Becoming the King of England would mean Prince William would have to uphold all the traditions of the British royal family, regardless of how small. He can toss out his alarm clock once he ascends to the throne, because one of the age-old traditions he'll be taking on is that the royal family is woken with bagpipes. That's been the case for at least a century. Number 19. Massive Inheritances Await Prince William The royal family is one of the richest monarchial systems in the world. It's estimated that the sovereign draws a yearly salary of about £20 million per year. It's also estimated that the expenses associated with the crown cost each citizen of Britain about £1.69 pounds per annum. Also, the royal family's massive assets are in the billions. These assets include the Crown Estate, Buckingham Palace, the Duchy of Lancaster, the Duchy of Cornwall, Kensington Palace, and the Crown Estate of Scotland. All of these properties would be inherited by Prince William when he becomes king. Number 20. He would no longer need a passport. Once Prince William becomes the king, he would be entitled to very rare special privileges. One of those is he'll no longer require a passport to travel. This is because the British monarchy is one of the most honored monarchial systems in the world, and the king or queen is the highest title in the United Kingdom. Other senior royal members still require passports to travel, including Princess Catherine, when she becomes queen consort. So there you have it, 20 things that will happen when Prince William takes the throne. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'd love to get your thoughts in the comments section below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel to get more updates from us.